Hi, my name's Ben. I work at the Game House, and today we're going through my own article on the what I thought would be the six best NFL primetime games of the season. We're just going to revisit it, see where I was right, see where I was wrong. I won't go through the ones that ended up being the best because we all know about those. And just up front, um, I'm kind of going through it this week, so this might be a little bit less edited. Uh, you may hear me clear my throat or say um a few times, but just kind of hard to edit right at the moment, so my apologies for that. So we're just going to jump right into it. For the Thursday night football games, I picked two for each primetime slot. For the Thursday night football games, I picked the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Baltimore Ravens. I would say I'm a bit neutral on this, but I was leaning wrong because Joe Burrow went down for the entire season in this game. The Ravens ended up winning. This is week 11, by the way, not the earlier matchup. The Ravens ended up winning because Joe Burrow went down. The Bengals season essentially ended during this game, so I'm not sure how anybody could call it good. It was sort of a bummer all around for NFL fans, so definitely wrong on that one. And then the other Thursday night football game I chose was the Jets versus the Browns. Obviously, I was wrong on this one. This is going to be a Week 17 game a few days after Christmas. Both of these quarterbacks, both of their starting quarterbacks, that is, went down. Uh, obviously, Aaron Rodgers on the fourth play of the game. Deshaun Watson fought through some shoulder stuff, and then now they're starting Dorian Thompson Robinson and PJ Walker, and now they're going to start Joe Flacco. So the Browns quarterback room is really banged up. Uh, both great defenses, so it still could be good. Still, you know, if you like that sort of punchy in the mouth football, you know, throwback 70s style. It could still be good, but the offenses are going to be pretty atrocious in this one. The Jets have given up on Zach Wilson. They've given up on his, they haven't quite given up on his backup, Tim Boyle, yet, but I believe that's coming very soon. So, again, wrong on this one. Here are the Sunday night football games I picked. The first one was the Bills and the Bengals in Week 9, and I was right on that. The Bills were sort of starting to fight for their season, and the Bengals were coming back on strong after Joe Burrow didn't put up some great games while he was injured, but he was healthy at this point. Uh, I'm going to say I was right on this one. I believe that this was a good game. The Bengals won, continued their dominance over the Bills. Not a lot to say other than that. I really do believe I was right on this one. And then next up for the Sunday night games is the Chiefs versus the Packers. That is this week, week 13. That's what inspired me to take a look back at these games. I'm going to say that I was right on this one. Got a lot of flack inside the company for picking this game because everyone thought Jordan Love would be garbage. And he definitely was for a stretch in the, in the early goings of the season. And, but the Chiefs... Also, they have a great defense, but their offense is struggling. So this is a really interesting matchup. I think the Packers, I mean, there's a chance for them to win, but being that Joe Barry is their defensive coordinator, they're going to let Travis Kelsey run and catch all over them. I don't really think that this, I don't really think that this is going to be a blowout on either side, but it is still going to be a good game because the Packers have a path to the playoffs, which I will discuss in another video. But I think this is this has a lot to do with both of these teams' playoff lives because the Chiefs are fighting for the one seed and the Packers are fighting to get in. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with me being right on this one, despite again all the flack that I got for picking it. And then moving on to Monday Night Football, the Bills versus the Jets in Week 1. I mean, it was interesting, but not for the reasons that we wanted it to be. I just talked about Aaron Rodgers going down four plays into the game. The Bills, however, committed a bunch of turnovers. The Jets escaped with that game, sort of felt like fate that he, that that defense picked up the, the slack for the entire team, and this started the Buffalo Bills on their sort of snide that has them fighting for their playoff lives, as I mentioned earlier. Was it a good game? I don't know, kind of. They ended on a punt return touchdown. That's interesting, but I'm going to go neutral on this. It didn't, definitely wasn't the game we were expecting to see. And then finally, I picked the Week 11 game, the Super Bowl rematch between the Eagles and the Chiefs. This one was awesome. Really back and forth. 
the Eagles turned out to be a little bit stronger this night. Again, the Chiefs offense is struggling, but it was a close game. It was a fun one. And again, not only a Super Bowl rematch, but maybe a Super Bowl preview. The Chiefs are fighting for the one seed yet again. The Eagles basically already have it locked up. I know I might be jinxing them there, but it's going to take a lot for them to lose out on that one seed. So I'm going to I'm going to take the W on this one. I feel like I was right on this one as well. But what do you think were the best primetime games of the season? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And stay tuned for more.